As the Bulldogs open a new era as JT Daniels will get the start under center for the Georgia Bulldogs tonight. I think folks around these parts have been waiting for his appearance, and it's finally here. Now, this guy came out of high school with so many accolades, was the national player of the year, led his high school team modern day to a national championship. And then what, what should have been his senior year of high school, he started 11 games for the Southern Cal Trojans. But then last year in game number one, this is what happened. On a sack, tore an ACL and his meniscus. And it's been 14 months since he's been able to take a snap in a live football game as a quarterback. Instead of just being a statue, he just couldn't move after that leg surgery. But they feel like he's in a great spot now. And he hits his first completion of the game with George Pickens. He said, you know, he's got an unbelievable arm. But we just got to have I mean, he's a good athlete, but he's not the kind of guy that's going to scramble for a bunch of yards. And that one's fast playing at that level right now. He and Errol Thompson with a great play. Yeah, Georgia goes double slant. He just has to see defenders. He's looking at spots right now. Mississippi State. Mississippi State bringing some pressure. JT Daniels nowhere to go. This is part of understanding the ball game. They bring pressure. Georgia's offensive line does a pretty good job of picking it up. Now, this is where he has to get rid of the football. You can't sit in there and take this. Dave Neal, DJ Shockley, Will and Sissel down the sidelines. Glad you could join us tonight. Georgia's second possession of the game. Daniels. First and ten. Burton goes in motion. Three receivers to the right side of the field. JT Daniels will go that way. And Burton kicks the pass. He makes a couple of guys miss. And has scored a touchdown in every ball game this season. It's physical when he has a ball in his hand. Play fake it to White. Get the pass. Georgia thing? looking. And a third down and 11. JT Daniels going up top. Trying to get it all right here. And double coverage in the end zone. He runs by him. And because his ball's so underthrown, he's trying to come back to the football. And the defensive back never looks back for the football. And he's going to get a pass. For this game, found that out uh, in the last 24 hours. So uh, they're only playing with five linebackers in a 3 3 format as that pass is caught on the outside by Jordan. here who see the play action here this is what Georgia wants to do run the football and play action and he does it like he's going to run an over route and comes back on the corner route and Daniels batted at the line of scrimmage and it's incomplete an issue with majority of the season is batted balls and sometimes it's just about the offensive lineman getting their hands on the ground but this is a read here it's a Kind of a pass option there. He gets up the field, and you see Cameron Young again. Send Burton in motion again. JT Daniels moving the pocket to the right, to the end zone. And see you lined up one-on-one, -on -one and watch the, the way he moves on this particular play to get open. It's a little comeback on the outside. He's got him tugging and pulling on him, but because the ball is low and outside and away, it gives him an opportunity to go down to get it because he's falling down trying to catch his football. But this is a well-thrown football by JT Daniels where only George Pickens can come away with it, and he comes down with a big leading Georgia 10 to 7. And a free play here for Georgia. JT Daniels, will he step up and let one fly? He will. Deep down the middle, has a man. His pass is caught at the 26-yard line. A great catch by Burton. In pass the game you get with JT Defense. Daniels. Failure decline. Result of play. First down. But watch him go up and get this football. Jermaine Burton goes up and attacks this football. It comes down with a big catch, and you make them pay for jumping off sides where it could have been just a five-yard penalty. You take the shot, you have the win. Wow, and the expectations are high. Everybody wants to see you play, so he's done a good job to control those emotions. Four-man rush with JT and Trump. Crumity got credit for the sack, but Aaron Brule was really the man who's kind of forced that pocket to collapse. Now they'll set up a little screen to Burton. They've been back across the original line. They've had a few flashes of that, but for the most part, it hasn't been an offense that, that I would say has been in sync in JT Daniels' first start. Although this is a good way to get this drive started as Kiaris Jack 16 on the clock. Georgia with three timeouts left. JT Daniels steps up in that pocket, hit as he throws, going deep, looking for Burton and has it. Out of bounds around the 35. Unreal he's able to get this football in there because Mississippi State is playing some form of cover three. And Burton still gets behind the defense. But did you see the location of that football? Play down the field. Gives him a different threat on offense. 46-yard reception. That one's batted. Georgia chance to move his chance. Pass caught around the 20-yard line. That'll be good enough.
Quick hitter to Burton. Cuts it to the outside, to the 10, to the 5, and he is thrown out of bounds there, but there is a flag. Batted in the backfield quite a bit tonight. JT Daniels has a clean pocket, throws to the end zone, touchdown, Jermaine Burton. Track of his bird because he's had a big ball game. Watch the flick of the wrist. Watch how the quick release of this football comes out, puts it high, and Burton just went right down the seam, and nobody catches him going down. 74 yards a game on the ground. That was fifth in the conference. Here's Cook, his opportunity with the football. Three-man rush by Mississippi State. Pass is caught. First down, Georgia. Yeah, he's just going to go down. He's going to hook up in this zone right here. And just an outstanding job of staying in that space. And JT Daniels finding him, but just fan of him to come down with that football. Daniels low throw, scooped off the turf. Now they bring McIntosh in the backfield to the left of JT Daniels. Four-man rush by Mississippi State. Daniels gets the pass off. Here is Jackson, spins off a couple. So your playmaker in space and allow him to just to pick up that first down. Dumps it off, well played there by Miss Hughes. Couple of touchdowns. Mississippi State with a corner blitz. Georgia picks it up nicely, allowing Daniels to heave one down the field. There's Burton, touchdown, Georgia. Look on the outside. Watch the blitz pick up on the outside by Kenny McIntosh. They bring the corner blitz. He picks it up, which gives Daniels the time. And watch him lay it out there. And it's just a nothing but a simple go route on the outside. Just run by him, stop and go. Stops his feet just a little bit. And then you see him get back on top in a well. 5-17 to go in the third quarter. Pickens in motion. The flea flicker. Back to JT. He'll go underneath to Pickens as Mississippi State, obviously, a drop back. Oh, yeah. It's definitely intriguing. Four-man rush by Mississippi State. Underneath throw will be good up for a first down. Easy first decision. Catch. Another quick easy decision here. No way, knows where he wants to go with the football. Puts it on that left shoulder. Matt Barkley. There's a guy at Alabama right now looking pretty good, too, that was there right after JT, Bryce Young. Third and long. Oh, Mississippi State selling out of the blitz. JT Daniels. Has a chance to air it out. It just overthrows Pickens at the 20, looking around for a flag. Yeah, it looks like both guys are just, you see a lot of hand fight between both the guys. I, I love the no call there. Both guys are grabbing each other. You see both of them with two hands grabbing on each other, so I love the no call. Third down and 10. Bringing five, trying to set up a screen. Mississippi State, boy, it looks like they got 13 guys out. Back of a game for the Bulldogs at his first start at a Georgia uniform gets his pass. His play. Blitz is coming. Calmly walks up to the line of scrimmage. Let's get this protected up. Signals on to the outside. Hey, here's what I want. Here's what I need. And then now I know I need to go with the full 10 tackles for loss tonight. Bringing some heat. Georgia picks it up. JT pump fakes. Boy, was waiting for his guy Pickens to get open, and he finally did. A good job of picking this blitz up. Look at that. He's got time to survey, moves over just a little bit. Like you mentioned, double pump twice and still that time to throw this football. And Pickett finally wins. Defensively. Daniels coming near side. Pass is caught. Demetrius Robertson. His eighth. The arm strength. This ball was thrown from the other hash. Watch this football get all the way outside to the numbers and throws it at the level where only his receiver can get it with an underneath defender there. Daniels. Drops it off a la Mississippi State, and that'll be a first down as Zamir White dives to the third. Here from JT Daniels. He's going to get the blitz, but watch him drift a little bit. Drift away from the line of scrimmage, buy himself a little bit more time and allows his back to sneak out and just drops it off for a big game. Daniels lofts it up, going toward the end zone, incomplete. Kiera. And see if right at the end, Emerson comes over right at the end, does he? Oh, I think that's just a drop. JT under pressure, dodges a couple of guys, fires toward the end zone. That one is incomplete. Look, 
They watch the movement here. They got him locked up. Aaron Roulette has him locked up and makes a guy miss. Climbs back in the pocket and then delivers a strike down the middle. They will throw it again on third and ten. Daniels on the run. Pass caught by Pickens. That'll be a first down. From the 40-yard line, again, pressure comes. JT has a clean pocket, airs it out wide open down the field. Caught this time. This is man-on-man -man here. Mississippi State goes cover zero blitz, no safety in the middle of the field, and the defensive back gets caught flat-footed. Sean Preston and Kiers just runs right by him down the seam here. And you see him coming right in the middle of your living room, right down the middle, and just drops an absolute five touchdowns. He's on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that ball almost picked off. <laughs> Happy birthday, Thank brother. Thank you. 35 again. Incomplete off the hand. A little bit more luxurious <laughs> these days. Yeah, now that we can be mobile with our equipment, I'm just about, I could be anywhere. Pass is caught. Speaking of anywhere, it's a huge pass from JT Daniels. Well, this is pretty good coverage, but sometimes when you throw a ball like this, that's absolutely perfect, thrown in the right spot. 113 yards passing, and we have a total of uh, 47 yards rushing. JT Daniels dropped at the 20. And to take this ball game down to the last minute, on the road speaks volumes of what Mike Leach has done. And for Georgia, you need to get to see JT Daniels. I mean, how about this, 401 through the air, I think Georgia's got their new starting quarterback. Kirby smart offense struggle on the ground all night like they did against Mississippi State. A quick pass out to Jermaine Burton. Wondered if we'd see Jermaine tonight. Generate takeaways defensively. Fakes the toss and across the middle. Wide open is Trey McKinney. The tight end inside the 20 and wrestled out of bounds near the 10 yard. That fans have been clamoring for around the Georgia program. Get the ball to the tight ends. Trey McKinney, transfer, quick. Daniels in zone, one on one, and it's over the head of his end. And two of those were for touchdowns. James Cook in the game, quick pass, caught. McKinney to the goal line, marked out inside the one. After pushed him out. You can see they were trying to get a little bit of a rub there. And what's the speed there on that kid? 44 yards for him on that play. It looks like some sort of confusion in the backfield. Pressure. It's a loss of six on the play. Daniels will try the right sideline, and that is caught by George Pickens. Opting out. JT Daniels throwing at John Dixon. And George Pickens, in his first game back last week, had eight catches. Goes up. He's so competitive in the air. Great shoes. Nine and a half sacks that aren't represented on the field today. Daniels throws again to Pickens, and George will get inside the 10 on purpose. Now Daniels back on offense. Play action. He wants to load up, throwing the deep ball. Under throws. Jermaine Burton. Georgia hit. A couple under throws. We see Burton. He's running open, and he was kind of checking up on his route. Got James Cook in there as well. Daniels with all kinds of time. Takes too much time, and finally is sacked. Fake to James this time, and it's to Pickens. We had trouble. Well, 25 seconds to go. Georgia does have two timeouts. And they're throwing the football. Burton, first down, up past the 45. With one timeout in 17 seconds. Daniels to the sideline, and that's caught down at the 30-yard line. Oh, it's picked off now. A little bit, but you see the shot that Kiris Jackson took. Well, that's how. Is what he a great play. How about that? Jalen Foster was the one that jarred it loose, and it ends up in Jamie Robinson's hands. We're on 39 to start drives. Loading up is Daniels, and he finds Burton open inside the run game has largely dominated the offense for Georgia. 
But you're... White comes in. Daniels will throw it away to the center. Yeah, it looked like he had an opportunity early downfield. Burton running wide open. And Keir Thomas both out tonight. And Georgia pushing the pile play after play. This is a sideline throw to Jackson. Boy, is the long handoff. Look at the blocking out in front. Richard Robertson, that ball a little bit behind Chris Jackson. A long way to travel for it. Number five in the country. Daniels takes a shot, and that was dangerous. Almost picked off. You see this right now. And Cam Smith actually ends up kind of, it looks like Smith gets a piece of this football with his right arm inadvertently. He ends up under 15. Daniels to the end zone and it's dropped. Burton had a hand on it. There's some hand fighting along the boundary. Burton just couldn't quite corral this one. Had a shot at it, no doubt. They'll watch that one on film and know that they missed. Fence all over LSU tonight. Here, JT Daniels, first play of the fourth quarter. Hello, touchdown. Oh. Smith looked like he was fired out of a rocket. Out of a cannon, man. Georgia going a little tempo. I think maybe Arkansas exposed Missouri in that up-tempo last week. Georgia might try to step on the gas a little bit more. This what this defense needs out of him for them to be successful. Burton on the catch. A couple of yards as he falls. That's just third downs. <laughs> Clean pocket. Nice catch by Cook. He's to the 15, to the 10, five, touchdown, Georgia. How about matchups? You get James Cook on an angle route, a first man coverage, and he just beats his guy across the face, and JT Daniels gives him a good catchable football. And then you see him in space. This is what Georgia has done all year. It's things that your team builds on. You want at least some kind of home field advantage. Georgia trying to take that away as JT Daniels. Yeah, I want to see if he got his feet down here. He does a good job of elevating going up to get the football. Does he get that foot down here? Oh, absolutely does. Gets that right foot down. Does he have control of it? JT getting some heat, throws, passes overthrown. I think you see a lot of Missouri's playing tons of man coverage. Georgia receivers have to win. Pocket collapses. They'll swing it near side. McIntosh, first down and more. And a big collision around the 45. They'll spot you here to snap when he goes out in motion. You see how far inside just beat him out to the corner and out leverage the defender. Missouri bringing some heat. Daniels going up top on first down, and no one is there. Comes some heat again. Daniels hit as he throws, incomplete. They were Georgia hasn't thrown it a bunch today. This is just their ninth attempt through the air. That one's incomplete. And it's put on Nick Bolton at the bottom. Daniels going deep. And he's... Burton comes into the formation. Pre pressure comes. Daniels popped as he throws it. Incomplete. Trust becomes, and he is shot out of a cannon right through the middle and puts his head right in the chest of JT Daniels. And this has been the MO for Ryan Walters here in this second quarter. Bring pressure. So from the 25 yard line. Trying to set up a little screen. The Jermaine Burton. Trey McKitty, the tight end, splits into the slot. Quick throw, and that one's batted down at the line of scrimmage. Daniels throws on the run, and pass is caught first down, Georgia. Throw this football is out the hands of JT Daniels before Kier Jackson even turns around on this out route. Pass caught right at the first down line by Burton. Burton. 
Three man rush this time. JT going to that near sideline again. Finds Burton, makes a man miss. Catch. This is good coverage on the outside. The defensive back is there. Tries to stick his hand in there, but Burton does a good job of securing the foot. Missouri bringing some heat. Daniels hit as he throws. Lofts it straight up in the air. A flag comes down, but the catch is made. Why Georgia fans are so excited. Watch him track this football. He's got a guy hanging all over him, and he still has the body control to come down with this football. I'm going to play as well. The field was a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. Both guys jostling for the football. Same Missouri team in Athens. Oh, wow. JT Daniels to the end zone and Pickens. Ah, uh, no, they make it the defensive back there. Yeah, he. It's pretty interesting call. He, you can. This is probably could go both ways. And I, I think that's what the discussion probably is. Yeah. Settled in. Six on the line of scrimmage. They'll bring five of those guys. Quick slam. Pickens catch. First down. Touchdown. And look at the ball placement where this football is. The ball is quick. It's out. Hit Pickens right in the face. And you can't make a tackle outside. And this is what's going to happen. He Daniels, nine touchdowns now in the year. I think coming to this ball game, Stetson Bennett, who was the guy, had eight. JT, a little bootleg. Drops it off to Burton. Stutter steps. And he's going to be just shy of the line. JT Daniels slings it over the middle. It's incomplete. Side throw the football around so they, he could prepare for days like this. Pretty special, guys. Yeah, that was. Uh, I was catching counsel to postpone, but Texas had them all SEC schedule. Only lost to the number one team. That pass is, has been relatively quiet in the pass game this year, but watch this catch. Oh, my. He's only 6'7", 260 people on the outside running a, a go route. And look at the concentration to come down with this football. And again, Todd Markin finding a matchup he likes. Put one of his big-time playmakers with eight, and you find a big catch for your tight end. Daniels will go up top again. And that one is incomplete. Coming into this game with only two catches. They come right back to him on the wheel route. And there's too much contact on the outside from that type of player but just has to learn what it takes to be successful in the sec jt daniels to the end zone this one is knocked away that's three straight times they've gone to they'll fake it to edwards jt daniels passes caught washington over the middle using that to try to get one more playoff here it looks like jt daniels says yeah i'll sling it one more time and there is Pickens again. Daniels to the end zone, lofts it up in the air, and that one is incomplete. Today, against this physical running game for the Bulldogs. Darnell Washington, the tight end in motion, and he makes the catch. Chopped down immediately, though, of running backs today from Georgia. Daniel to pass. Downfield, incomplete, and almost defending against John Fitzpatrick there. Good coverage down the field. JT Daniels overshoots his six foot seven tight end. And